So here's what I'm working on today. I'm cutting this glass strip. This is the backhoe glass. Um, back glass, I have my backhoe, this is the frame. But what happened, I had it, I left it on a job over the weekend. I knew better, I, sh I usually never do that. Um, but anyway, I think it was a BB gun. Right here is where the hole f was at. I mean, it's just like a little bitty hole. I couldn't find any ammo or anything behind it, but it's either a rock or a BB. And the windshield wiper motor goes here, so I think it was probably a BB. I don't think a rock could have hit it right next to that. But anyway, these are uh, glue-in, I guess. They use a sticky substance to glue them in there. But what you got to do is cut the old stuff out. So I got part of it done. Um, got around over here. I'm almost halfway, but I thought, well, I probably ought to video this. It might be interesting for somebody to watch. Um, not sure why, but I'll try to get your camera set up here and where you can watch this happen. Um, I had to do this on my other backhoe. I had a LB90 and I'm not sure what happened to it, but I was, I got to a job site and the back glass was just shattered and it was, it was riding on a truck. So I don't know why that happened, but it did the same thing Only it. When I, when I come up on the job on this one, the glass was still in place. It was just shattered. Um, and I was sick to my stomach because I knew better than leave the backhoe out there. But anyway, that's what happened. But I'll get to try to get the camera set up here where you can watch this. And I may not be doing this right. I don't know. Uh, I'm not a glass expert. But I think I know what I'm doing. Um, trying to be careful. Got safety glasses on, got gloves on. Because this stuff, even though it's safety glass, it's still glass and it still cuts you. But just basically going through here and trying to make cuts um, till we get all the way through that. That's some tough stuff. Whatever that rubber is, it's pretty tough stuff. But this stuff, you can hear it crackling and popping. Little pieces of glass fly everywhere when you do this. So. I didn't, I got some floor dry on the floor. I've been needing to sweep up, but I thought, well, I might as well do this first and get it all out together. But anyway, the job I was working on, I was filling the swimming pool and I, I kind of halfway regret that I didn't film any of it. Um, I've got a few pictures. I may show a few pictures here, but um, it was an old concrete pool that had been floated out of the ground. And they wanted to demo it and the surrounding concrete around it. And what I ended up doing was renting a backhoe with a hammer. You might ask why not an excavator with a hammer? Well, it's a silly question to ask me. But anyway, that's what I used to break it out. Ended up with the backhoe in the pool at one point. Uh, there was one side that was really hard to get to. There just wasn't enough room around it. So I ended up, uh, it, was, it was an interesting job. My son helped me a little bit on it. Um, he, he even ran the packer a little bit. That camera's shaky there. I'm gonna have to do something different. He even ran the packer I had rented, uh, but what I did is mix sand in with the concrete, busted it up, tried to keep it in smaller than two feet pieces, busted several holes in the bottom, and uh, I don't know if you're supposed to cut all this off or not, but I figured it'd be better to cut as much as I can off there. But anyway, interesting little job. I'm almost done with it completely. Uh, we've got to take out the fence. I saved that for last because it's an apartment complex and uh, there's a lot of kids running around. Probably one with a BB gun, I'd guess. Might have been an adult though. These days you just never know. Kids get blamed for a lot of stuff. 
sometimes they probably don't even do. Probably their stupid parents. Anyway. So, needless to say, I won't be leaving a machine on that job ever again. Not even for an evening. It was in a fenced in area where it got hit and I thought, well, it's pretty safe here. I had safety fence up, nobody could get to it. But I guess over the weekend, somebody probably just got bored and shot it. Probably because of the, I'm gonna blame it on coronavirus. Because, you know, a lot of people are having to stay home for coronavirus, so. That's what killed this window, was coronavirus. Anyway, put a lot of sand in the pool. I got what dirt I could off the edges and I had a couple loads of dirt hauled in. That was another story. I could have been done with the job a lot sooner probably if I had my own dump truck. Um, but it's cheaper to hire a dump truck. I mean, if you look at long-term maintenance on them, long-term, I mean, if I had a driver in one every day, it'd probably pay off. Or it might not, depending on if he's a good driver. But I can make more money on a machine than I can in a truck, around here anyway. Uh, but just timing, scheduling, that's tough on Seems like I'm always waiting on them and they always lie about when they're gonna be there, but anyway. That's uh, kind of what went on there. Okay. Like I say, I regret not having a camera up. It's just hard to do when I'm on different jobs, getting camera set up for YouTube. It's sometimes nice just to go to work, not worry about it. I had enough things to worry about on that job, I didn't really want another one, so that's kind of why I did it that way. I just, it was pretty stressful working around all the people. And every day you come in there, you got cars you got to get out of the way. And no, there's no room to work in them places, so I ended up having to get some metal plates in there. I started breaking down sidewalks, and uh, the sidewalks were really old. Even with the plates on them, they cracked. So, I had to dump dirt in the parking lot, and then haul it to the back in the pool and dump it. A little glass in my mouth there almost. Or shut up. I'm sure there's some guys out there that know way more about this and probably could already had it done. If you know how, you, <laughs> if you know what you're doing, I'm sure. This is by no means a how to do it video. This is more of a how I did it wrong video, probably. So. Oh, all that stuff on blades, man. I gotta get this glass back in there because it's getting warmer around here. And they say you don't work that good with the windows open. Plus, it gets dusty in the cab. This morning it was wet in the cab <clears throat> from the dew. I had dew on the inside of the glass and the outside of the glass. Lots of foam insulation in there. Made in Italy 
That's where the that's where the new hole and back over the lay. It's for Julie. Quite the packaging. Lots of foam. Probably half the money they spent on this deal was uh, packaging. Anyway, we'll get it out here to dry fit. Got here in one piece. I hope I can keep it in one piece. Fits. Fits like a window. It's kind of got a high spot or low spot, but the windshield wiper bolts in right here on uh, that part. And if I've got it set in here right, I believe that's the correct way. This is the top. That's where my GoPro mounts at there. So this has to be the top. And if I'm sitting in the backhoe, that would be the side the wipers on. So looks like we got a good fit. I needed to read the directions on the stuff we're using here. It is called window weld. Window weld. Super fast urethane. Easy caulking, fast curing, OEM strength. But I better read up about it before I use it. It's got a lot of a lot, of, a lot of writing on it. Anyway, I'll do that and then we'll figure this out here. Okay, so I cut a V-notch in this like they said too. I probably cut that tip a little big. But I got <clears throat> the sealer in there. The directions called for a primer that is made by 3M. I called the Napa where I bought this. But then I got to reading here. This is important right here. For professional use only, not this is not for me. I should not have this in my hand. <coughs> but anyway, um, I think we got a pretty good seal on it. It's gonna. I used what I ended up doing is just using rubbing alcohol and cleaned the window frame, and then I cleaned the back side of the glass around the edges. So now all that's left to do is just let it set and dry. Um, I'm not sure how long, the thing I never found on this directions <clears throat> is uh, how long you let it set. But just to be on the safe side, I'm not gonna put this in the backhoe tonight. I'm gonna probably wait till tomorrow afternoon when I get home. Um, I'll go one more day without it. It probably it's probably not going to kill me uh, as long as we don't have any rain, and that's my main deal. Anyway, got to put the wiper motor back in it. I'll probably do that after it's on the backhoe, just because that's extra weight, and uh, this thing's pretty heavy with the glass in it. So that would be the end of that deal. Um, this is just a short little video. Hopefully works out okay, but <clears throat> just wanted to, uh, <laughs> I guess show you. I hope I didn't put that in upside down. Boy, that'd be a mess. My wiper would be upside down. Did I put that in upside down? Oh no. Oh no. No, I didn't. It's right. Okay, well. Anyway, like I say, short little video about what happened to my back of glass and how we fixed it. But you can see that stuff's oozed up.
pretty sticky stuff. You don't want to get it on you. Um, <clears throat> I've got globs on the inside of the window on a couple of sides, which is, it's okay. I'm not going to worry about that. I can take a razor knife later and trim it if it looks bad. <clears throat> the important thing is it's got glass here, and this keeps the dust and the heat and the cold off of me. And uh, that's the important thing. Anyway, that's, uh, that's what happens when you break a glass and you end up having to buy you a new one. Um, I was sweating it thinking when I got home with this, it would all be shattered and broke, but they do a good job of packaging. Um, I'm sure with UPS and Jeff Anderson calls on the UPS football team. When you got them guys handling your packages, you know, you got to be careful. So anyway, they did a good job. We got it in the, uh, don't have anything touching metal to metal. That's pretty important on this stuff to not have uh, metal to metal. If it touches the edge of that, it'll break it. Oh no, I just did it. A little extra there. That urethane stuff is pretty tough stuff. So anyway, I hope it works. I hope it works out. I hope uh, window weld. It's not 7018, but it's pretty good stuff. It's uh, 8609, you know, pretty good stuff. I'm going to jump off of here and let this dry. That's going to be the best part of this deal is get to watch it dry. That's exciting. <laughs>